Ukraine has reached out to allies and international institutions over Kremlin plans to strike Ukrainian nuclear power facilities. As Ukrainian Foreign Minister Andriy Sibiga notes on the X network, according to Ukrainian intelligence, the Kremlin is preparing strikes on critical Ukrainian nuclear power facilities on the eve of winter. In particular, this concerns open switch gear at nuclear power plants and power transmission substations, which are critical for the safe operation of nuclear power. Sibiga emphasized that damage to these installations creates a high risk of a nuclear incident with global consequences. Ukrainian special services have passed this data to our partners. The IAEA also reported this. Russia is the only state that has seized a nuclear power plant in Europe, blackmailing the world. The Ukrainian peace formula contains provisions on ensuring radiological and nuclear safety. We call on all international organizations and states that respect the UN Charter to prevent the scenario of a terrorist state, he wrote. The minister expressed gratitude to the IAEA for the decision to expand the mission to a number of energy facilities in Ukraine. We ask the agency, partner countries and other organizations to implement the agreements as quickly as possible. We also call for ensuring a permanent expanded presence of the mission at all relevant facilities. Sibiga noted, at the same time, the head of the Center for Counteracting Disinformation at the National Security and Defense Council, Andrei Kovalenko, added that the Russian Federation already has plans for such strikes. Preparatory actions by the Russian army are already underway and plans for such strikes exist in Moscow. There is no time to delay the reaction. Kovalenko stated, The IAEA General Conference has approved a resolution that confirms that Ukrainian nuclear power plants, including the Russian-occupied Zaporizhia NPP, must operate under Ukraine's full sovereign control. The document was co-authored by 52 agency member countries. The IAEA called for the immediate withdrawal of military and other Russian personnel from the territory of the Zaporizhia NPP and the return of the station to the control of the Ukrainian authorities to ensure its safety. This month, it became known that the IAEA is expanding its monitoring missions in Ukraine to infrastructure facilities that have an impact on the safety of nuclear power plants. Protesters gathered in the Ukrainian capital of Kiev on Sunday in a show of solidarity for the plight of Ukrainian Azovstal defenders still being held prisoner by the Russians. Taking place outside the Expo Center of Ukraine, VDNG, the Free Azov rally supporters brought along signs with calls to action and messages of support, such as, Freedom to Azov, and, Russian Captivity Kills. Former Azov prisoners of war Anatoly Mikheyev and Dmitro Kozatsky attended the rally and thanked Ukrainians for their ongoing show of solidarity for soldiers still being held captive. Every week, thousands of people gather in various cities across Ukraine and around the world so that when Ukrainian prisoners of war are brought home, they can see that people have been advocating for them and remembering them every week, doing everything possible to fight for them," said Kozatsky. Мій син в полоні з 18 травня 22 року. Він боєць полку Азов. Азовці першими стали на захист нашої країни. Першими прийняли на себе бій. Першими тримали орків на собі. Були під градами. Їх бомбили. Вони були на Азовсталі. Але вони стояли стійко. Вони захищали свої родини, свою країну.
Сьогодні, скажімо так, знаменний день. Сьогодні моє день народження. Мені 20 років і вже своє друге день народження я зустріла без свого тата. Він 14 місяць в полоні і кожна акція для мене дійсно має значення. Я відчуваю підтримку, оточення. Я відчуваю, що я не сама. Що є люди, які підтримують, що, які чекають так само, як я. І... Знаєте, дає таке якесь, не знаю, натхнення.